This is the first movement you must be able to do in order to do a kipping pull-up. Notice how my head and feet counterbalance each other, and my head goes back and forth between my arms. As my feet kick forward, my core muscles are engaged. As my feet go back, my back muscles are engaged. Once you've become skilled at this phase of the movement, we can move on to the next. So now we want to do the same thing, but with a harder kick. Make sure you keep your arms straight. The looser your core and shoulders are as your feet go back, the better you will be able to whip your feet forward and create the undulation. Once you've got this motion down, now you're ready to start pulling. It's right at the end of the kick is when you start to pull inwards and upwards with your arms and lats, making sure your chin is going over the bar. Once you have become proficient in the looseness and technique, it all comes down to timing. When to kick, when to pull, and when to engage. So pull inward and upward at the end of your kick, and after reaching the apex of the pull-up, you do a very slight push downward, allowing the head to cycle back through and the feet to go back and forth. If you watch closely, you can see the energy beginning at my feet and ending at my head. This undulation is ultimately the goal of the kipping pull-up, is to utilize every part of your body as efficiently as possible to get your chin over the bar. Hopefully this video helps, and always remember, you can do it.